So in case you already didn't know, Converse was in the basketball game for over a hundred years. They're finally returning with this shoe, the All-Star Pro BB. Let's take a look. What's going on guys? We're watching Sneaker News on YouTube and today we're taking a closer look at the Converse All-Star Pro BB. Uh, this is definitely one of the more exciting new shoes that are dropping in 2019, mostly because we didn't expect it. So uh, before we take a look, just do us a quick favor, hit that subscribe button and we'll keep it moving. So as you guys know, back in April, Converse held a invite only media event in New York City to unveil this shoe. And can't speak for everyone that was there, but you know, we were pleasantly surprised because we just had no idea Converse was making a basketball shoe for the actual court. Uh, they do have some athletes on the roster, most notably Kelly Oubre Jr. who plays for the Phoenix Suns. And you know, he's gonna be one of the players that will probably debut that shoe. And we imagine Converse will probably expand their roster as they move forward into the new 2019-2020 season. It's gonna be a big summer for Converse and a big part of that is this shoe, is the All-Star Pro BB. Just to go over some quick basic release info because that's what you guys wanna know. The official release date is May 18th and it will be a US exclusive, $140. But not to worry, uh, in June, Converse will re-release these in limited quantity in North America and in China. Again, May 18th, the release is just around the corner, 140 bucks. Now let's take a closer look at this particular shoe. Um, right off the bat, you know, it does have some resemblance to the All-Star. You know, it's probably the most recognizable and most iconic sneaker in the market. I mean, there's no product that old that still continues to be in use today, and that is the Chuck Taylor, of course. The Chuck 70 has definitely made its way at the forefront of like that classic retro look. They're doing a lot of great collaborations. You know, the Brain Dead collab from last year was awesome, of course. Those two off-white collaborations, and they're really pumping out some really choice premium stuff. But we actually like the fact that they sort of honor the original All-Star with this very similar looking silhouette. You know, it has that same mid cut. Of course, this isn't a lifestyle shoe, but you can wear it off the court. This is a basketball shoe. And there's a lot of tech and innovation that went into this design. Although the shoe looks very simple, but in a very good way, in our opinion. Um, it was designed by none other than Eric Avar and a whole team. Eric Avar, if you don't know, designed some of the most iconic basketball shoes in the history of Nike. He doesn't get as much credit as he really deserves. Of course, we hear the name Tinker a lot, but Avar really brought some of the most game changers to Nike. Uh, foam posits, flight posits, pretty much every banger from the late 90s. Of course, the Kobe series. Uh, let's quickly go over some of the details step by step, because like we said, there is a lot of innovation to this. So the key challenge to creating a basketball shoe based on the All-Star is that they need to make it fit for the NBA court, but they don't want to lose so much of that all-star DNA. So there's a lot of innovation that went into this shoe, as we mentioned. Uh, the upper is made of one material called Nike Quad Fit Mesh. It conforms to the foot, it provides a custom fit. What's pretty interesting is that if you look on the medial side of the Quad Fit Mesh, you'll notice a very familiar detail. It's this zigzag sort of stitching and taping. Of course, that's really common in shoes right now, specifically like the React Element 87. So that's a nice little detail that may you know, seem familiar to today's crowd. Some key details that speak to Converse's you know, history is of course, the chevron that they use on the lateral side. And it's a little bit skewed, so it looks a little more contemporary. And we like how it dips into the midsole a little bit in the see-through outsole. And on the medial side, you have that classic Converse All-Star circular logo patch. Again, one of the most iconic most recognizable logos in American history, period. One interesting thing about the All-Star Pro BB is that they use a Nike React foam cushioning. And that, as you guys know, is you know super trendy right now. It's on the Element 87, it's on the upcoming React Presto. Even though it's not the first basketball shoe to feature React, it's probably the only one on the market right now. It also features a cup sole configuration. So for those of you who understand the importance of heel lockdown, this is definitely a really good shoe for that. Again, if you're familiar with the way Eric Avar likes to design shoes, you could just tell by looking at the midsole that, you know, it's kind of built like a Kobe shoe. You know, it's super low to the ground. Even if you take out the drop-in midsole, you know, the upper is, look how thin and minimal it is. And so it's basically, it's this upper with the outsole with the drop-in midsole. So they're keeping it very no frills. So a nice little hit of OG DNA is that the outsole actually features this diamond edge patterns that's like skewed and like kind of distorted and very futuristic looking, but it's actually a nod to the original traction pattern on the Chuck Taylor. It has that, you know, square diamond edge sort of pattern and they took that, they stretched it out and they made it fit for basketball and 
right above the rubber outsole is a foam and then it's your foot. So it's like they're not adding anything unnecessary to the shoe. They just want to keep it pure performance, foot directly on the foam, directly on the rubber and directly on the hardwood. It even scoots up to the side of the uh, midsole wall. So again, there's uh, a lot of that benefits for doing like those, you know, sharp cuts and things of that nature. So even on the midsole, you have that stripe. So nice little touch that, you know, they honor the, the origins of the Chuck Taylor while bringing it to something that's fit for basketball today. You know, the shoe was game ready, you know, Converse confirms that it's going to be featured during the summer like FIBA games, so definitely keep an eye out for that. But for now, you know, the focus is of course this white and orange colorway. It's dropping on May 18th for $140. US It's going to be a bit of a limited release, but not to worry, they're dropping again uh, later in June in North America and in China. So that's pretty much it, you know, this is a Converse All-Star Pro BB, you know, we love the fact that it marries the elements of old school and new school in a way that doesn't seem like it's forced, it doesn't seem like it doesn't fit. It's a pretty good looking shoe on feet, really comfortable, and you can wear it casually. I mean, if you wear Chuck 70s on the regular, then these are an option that you can definitely pick. So definitely cool looking shoe. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any other questions or anything else you want to see, or if you suggest any shoes for unboxing, let us know in the comments. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.